Now that we've built out our support agent, we're going to go ahead and add it to our website. The first thing we want to do is hit publish. This is going to make our agent live and we can go ahead and call it V2. Now, once the agent is live and you can see here, it's going to take a little bit to publish, 30, about 30 seconds or so. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab the web chat snippet. So click embed widget and we want to go here and copy over this snippet. Now, there are some customizations you can do from the tool itself. So for example, I can change the name of the voice flow support agent, the description. I can set this, which is chat persistence. So this actually saves variables whenever the user is within the same browser session. So if you capture their name, the next time they open the widget, as long as the browser session is the same, it will still have their name stored. And so you can set this to forget whenever the tab is closed or reloaded, but this will keep it as long as the cookie is there. And next up, you can also swap out the image. So I can change the background color. So let's say maybe I want this to be red or orange, but let's just go ahead and keep it blue. And you can also add your own custom image. Now it's important when you're adding your logo, and this is going to be for when the widget is closed, that you're using a transparent image. Otherwise, it'll show the background of the image. You've also got the image here, as well as the avatar image. If you want to customize further, you can use custom CSS with VoiceFlow to really and fully customize your chat widget. And we've seen some pretty crazy things. You can change the typeface, what it says down here, the actual way the buttons look, the color, anything you want. And we're going to show how to do that in a separate video in this section, but you need to get a bit into the widget code to modify it to allow for that. So we're just going to grab the widget here and just to explain all the different pieces. So this first part is actually loading the widget. So this is what makes it appear on the web page. The second part is pointing to your specific project. So every project has a project ID. So this is the project that we're on right now. The URL is what's going to actually allow it to work. And the version ID is production. This means that whenever we hit publish, this production version is going to update to the latest version that we hit publish on. So let's head on over to our website. And for this tutorial, we're going to use Webflow. But you can use any website builder as long as you have access to custom code. So this is custom JavaScript. So you need to be able to add custom JavaScript to your page. So on Webflow, and this is our old website, so we can get to play around with it. I'm going to go to our homepage settings, and we want to go over to the body tag. So you can see here before the body tag, and all we need to do is just go ahead and paste our script in. So you can see the script is here, and this points to our voice widget. So let's hit save, and let's see if this was uh, now published. Okay, it's done publishing. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. Right, so you can see our voice slope chatbot is here on the bottom right. I do have this little edit button, which is annoying. But if I go ahead and open this up, you can see that our chat agent is ready. And so if I say something like, you know, how do I use the API step in voice flow, that's going to be live, it's going to hit our knowledge base, and it's going to go ahead and answer our question. Awesome. So let's hit no, it's gonna take us into that submit ticket flow. And we're pretty much ready to go on this. Now, a couple things. One is that you can choose to deploy the widget to a specific page. So you'll notice that I only added it to the home page. So if I go ahead and maybe go to uh, this page up here, you'll see that the widget does not exist on this page. So if you want to deploy to all of your pages, you're going to need to do it at the site setting level. And so at least in Webflow, you can choose to add custom code to the page or the site. But if I went home and actually went to my site settings and I added it to the right here, the code before the body tag, that's going to appear on every page of my website. So you can do that as well. It's really up to you to choose where you want your chat widget deployed. Now, one really cool thing with VoiceFlow is that whenever your chat widget has been added to the website, every time you go and make a change to the canvas, whenever you hit publish, it'll automatically update. If I go here and let's make a change to say, welcome to our AI agent on our website, and I hit publish, we'll call it V2.1, and it's done. If we go back to our website, you'll notice that when I open the chat widget here and I restart my conversation, that our new change is already active. So super easy, allows you to basically embed it once on your website. And that way you can go in, you can hit publish in the voice of agent, and that will automatically update for any user that starts a new session. So now that it's on our website, we're going to go ahead and start getting into some more of the advanced stuff. Like how do I add custom CSS? How do I do things like make my widget pop up after someone's been on the website for six seconds? So we're going to go through all of those in each separate video after this one.